No, I was, I was uh, blessed. I started my career when I was still in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in university in Paris. And uh, I had a song that was written and became a hit. So until, uh, until recently, I've always, I didn't take things for granted, but I didn't realize how, how blessed I was. I didn't realize how, how uh, yes, how lucky I was. So it's the same song. In, yeah, I will say that uh, Elvis Presley was something very special because the first record I bought when I was 11 years old was Hound Dog from Elvis Presley. <laughs> so I just couldn't believe it when, uh, when, when, when I recorded that song and it became a, a huge hit. What I want to say, I'm going to tell you a story about that. It, that my agent at the time says, well, you have to meet with Elvis Presley because Elvis Presley had recorded the song and still we hadn't met. And he organized a meeting, so Elvis Presley will come to uh, Las Vegas a few, few days later and uh, I'm on my way to Las Vegas and uh, I was uh, uh, with that girl that was with me at the time. And I'm driving down Las Vegas and on the radio, all of a sudden, we hear, the king is dead. So I've never had a chance to meet with Elvis Presley. I mean, I work with the fact. biggest French artists, Should all I? of them. You know, uh, you, know you, you name uh, Michel Sardou, Claude Francois, all the biggest French artists I wrote songs for, for them. You know, I have 1,200 songs recorded, so that tells you. Favorite song? Yeah, my favorite song is a song that I wrote for Nicole Croisi and... Uh, it's about, and it's funny because then I experienced what I wrote at that time when I was 21 years old. I experienced it and understood my own words only maybe 40 years later, you know. And uh, yeah, I will say that. Sometimes you write things, you know, you know, you know the beauty, the beauty of, uh, of uh, being young is that you feel things and you can write things that could tell people that will, will be, uh, would be uh, 40 years, 50 years older than yourself. And then it's when you get to this age that you finally understand what you wrote at the time. You know, that's, that's kind of strange. So that means that inspiration is not only what you feel, but probably something that the universe or whatever force is telling you. And you are at the age where you, when you have the... Uh, the energy and the will to transmit that you can write it doesn't mean that you really know what you're writing. Do you have any advice for up and coming songwriters, producers, people who want to get into the record industry? If I have what, sorry, could you ask? Advice. Advice? Yes, well, two things. Follow your inspiration, but work hard. Try to learn the basic rules, which are tools that will help you to express yourself and therefore to express your talent at the best level. Otherwise, you will be stuck with your talent without the tool to accomplish what you want to do. So you have to remember that it's absolutely necessary not only to work hard, but to work hard on possessing the tools that will allow you to express fully your, your talent fully. And what are the tools? The, what are the tools? Mm -hmm. The tools are, for example, you know, to avoid, when, you, when you're a lyricist, you have to learn how to avoid redundance, which happen all the time and which is always on the corner, you know, make, make it, they are to betray you. Uh, to avoid padding, you know, not, uh, not, not saying, for example, I would say whatever. Uh, well, uh, the, blue sky, the, blue, the blue sky is clear. No, the sky is clear. You don't need blue, you know. And, uh, but people sometimes do things like that because they need one more syllable. And by doing that, you weaken what you're writing. How about musically speaking? Music is same thing, same thing. You have to master the music as much as you can, master your instrument, but you have to remember, the instrument will never write the music that you want to write. 
The instrument has nothing to do with this. The instrument is there to show what you wrote. So you have to master your instrument so you'll be able to, 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 uh, to, to play your music or to, to transmit your music. So but you have to understand that it's not the instrument that makes the music. It's, your, it's what you feel. It's, it's, your, it's your mind. It's your heart. You always have to remember that. And it's not because you're gonna stay hours before the piano playing all kind of the harmony on a harmonies that you will make the greater the greatest melody in the world. The greatest melody will come from what you feel, from what you can help but express. And where do you see yourself going from here? To uh, writing more music, to writing more films because now I'm writing films as well. Um, yeah, from here until until uh, God calls me back, I won't stop. There's no reason that I should stop. And life is wonderful, and I have the chance to. I'm I'm blessed because I have wonderful friends, just you, an ex as an example. And today I'm surrounding I'm surrounded with beautiful friends, and. Uh, I'm very, very blessed by that. I have a lot of great friends. Not too many. When you have too many, you don't have any friends anymore. And uh, I have a lot of connection. I know a lot of people. I have a large group of what I can call friends and not acquaintance. And that, every day, makes me thinking that I may have done something right in my life. <laughs> And what's important, generosity. I think that I'm not, I'm not going to come out and say, well, I'm so generous. But I'm just like, I will say, uh, naturally generous. And because of that, I just get the generosity of others, naturally. I think they give me as much as I give to them because they, uh, when you're generous, and of course, you get disappointed many times, but in the course of time, you remain with a group of people that are just the same as you.